Hey guys, we are here for another video from my creative year. And yep, I've got the sewing machine out. <laughs> and you're thinking, what does that have to do with my creative year? <laughs> I have to change the thread on it, by the way. Um, well, this month our topic is stitches. And this week, the first week of the month for September is um, clothing. And of course, there's a million different ways that you could take that, but I thought I'd bring you a fun, interesting, uh, little non-art journal-y project. Gonna bring you a couple of them this month. All right, so these are hand warmers, and I have a few different pairs here. These are ones that were made for me by my friend Cindy Utter. They're crocheted, I believe it's all double crochet. And she made these for me, aren't they cute? Um, these are ones that I made. In fact, I think this is the pair I brought to Alaska, which I love. Um, I, if I can find it, I'll include this pattern in the video description, um, where you can find the pattern for this if you crochet. They actually weren't that hard to make. Um, I really love them. I do wear this pair a lot. Uh, I am in my mid-50s. By the time you're seeing this, I will have last month turned 55. And I am menopausal and I'm hot all the time, but that being said, when I am in colder climates, I'm usually not cold enough to wear a full mitten, but I do generally want something on my wrists or hands because, you know, my arthritis will start to act up. I do like my fingertips free. Um, so I love hand warmers. I don't generally wear them in the house, but I do love to wear them when we're out and about. Um, and again, these I wore in Alaska, and they were great. Um, I was the only person when we were in Alaska in a lightweight, thin coat and fingerless gloves. Um, yeah, everybody thought I was nuts, but anyway, I was great. I loved it. Um, these are the pair I made out of old clothing. And you're going to be like, what? These are made out of the sleeves from a sweater. And I'm going to show you how I did this. And we're going to use actually a pair of socks to create the same, it's the same idea. Okay? Um, so the first thing you're going to need is a sweater, um, a sweater, an old sweater, or an old pair of socks. You could do either one. I have a bunch of my husband's old socks. <laughs> So you want to cut off the sleeve. You, you want to like stick your hand in the sleeve and see how far down you want your uh, fingerless gloves or your hand warmers to go. So I don't generally like them to go down farther than that. You could make them really long. I don't usually like that. Um, so this one is about seven and a half inches. If you're going to use the socks, See, this sock is good because the socks is seven inches. So I'm, I only want the ribbed part. I don't want the foot part. So the first thing we're going to do is cut off the foot on both socks. Now, if you don't sew or you don't have a sewing machine, you could do this and then put some glue around the edge. Use a fabric glue like fabric tack or use, um, there is a glue in the sewing department of your craft stores called Fray Check. And it's intended to stop fabric from unraveling. Be generous with it, it'll dry clear and run it all the way around here, kind of pull it out a little bit and put the glue on there and get a good generous amount, rub it in, and that'll keep the edge from raveling because that's what we're try gonna try to stop from happening. I'm gonna cut the other one. So now we have that. So now we need to, I'm going to actually stitch this and you can do it on a regular sewing machine and just zigzag all the way around the top. First thing I need to do is put white thread in the machine. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. So if you know how to sew or you know anything about sewing, I am going to set my stitch length, how long the stitches are for a shorter stitch length, like a two. And I'm going to set the zigzag, how far it goes back and forth for like a two, three, somewhere in there. I want a small zigzag. I'm gonna do a couple stitches on the edge of the, cut edge of the, so, uh, the ribbing of the sock, 
and see how that looks. And then if I don't like it, if it needs to be bigger or smaller, I'm gonna adjust it accordingly. So I'm going to pull the sock open like this and fold this back so I only have one layer of sock. And I'm gonna zigzag all the way around this top edge. I am gonna pull it out a little bit, which I did here too to just stretch it out a little bit so it slides over my fingers a little easier. Not too much, you don't want it too wavy, okay? Make sure you go back and forth at the beginning and the end so that you lock your stitches in. And you can go around a couple times if you feel like you need to. Trim all your threads. It should look something like that. Okay, so I'm going to do the other one. This is exactly how I did the, the other ones with the sweater. Oops. Things are falling. Okay, so now we have that. Now what we need to do is we need to put it on our hand. And you need to figure out where you need to put a little, you're gonna need to put a little stitch here between your fingers and your thumb. So you need to figure out how much fabric you need, where you're gonna need to put that. So I need to put it right about there. I need a pin. <laughs> so I'm gonna do do it that way. Check it with by trying it on, and then put a pin in there. And then I'm gonna take my other my other sock and line it up. I put a pin in the same place. Before I stitch it, I'm going to try it on. Make sure that's good. Yep. Then I'm going to sew just a few stitches going down back and forth, just about a half an inch down, not too far. You're going to only want to go down like a half an inch. And I'm going to still use the zig same zigzag. going to do the other one. Don't sew over the pins. Take your pins out before you start stitching. Okay. And then can see you all at the thrift store like trying on the sleeves of sweaters. They're going to be driving the ladies at the thrift store crazy. You could stop at this. this these are really cute actually. Um, just plain um, white uh, fingerless gloves. And I will say because they're socks and the ribbing um, generally has like some spandex type threads in it, they feel a little snug, which I like because I actually have stitching gloves that fit really snugly that help when my arthritis is acting up and these actually feel like those which I find very comforting. So you could leave it at that or like this one 
that I made. I embellished it with some of these store-bought crocheted flowers. If you know how to crochet flowers, you might have a stash of these, just use what you have. But if you don't know how to crochet, you can buy these in the mixed media and scrapbooking section, usually of your um, favorite craft store like Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby always has these. And um, these are cute um, layered on your gloves. And these, this is exactly what I did over here. And you could just hand stitch them down. I wouldn't glue them, I would stitch them. You could leave it plain too. I actually kind of like these plain. So I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do this week um, with clothing um, in your work. The other teachers are all going to come out with new and unique and different things. Um, I can't wait to see what they do and I can't wait to see what you do. Um, if you're not a member of My Creative Year and you'd like to be, um, the link is in my link tree, which is in the description below. If you click on it, you're going to find the links to everywhere I am on the internet, including my creative year. So go check it out. And um, maybe you don't want to be bothered creating a pair of fingerless gloves. Maybe you want to journal about your favorite piece of clothing or um, use a piece of an old favorite piece of clothing in your work. Um, that's something else that I do is I do if I'm, you know, if I've worn out a piece of favorite clothing, I say I will cut the buttons off or I will take the fabric and I will take little pieces of the fabric and put it in my stash. And maybe you want to dig some of that out. Maybe I have pieces of my grandmother's house coat that I occasionally use in my work. So, you know, maybe you have something like that. But think outside the box. Maybe just take a pair of your husband's old socks and create a pair of fingerless gloves. Maybe he's got some crazy goofy socks that he never wears or that he doesn't like that have a funny design on the, on the ribbing part. Um, I have some that say bored as the F word um, <laughs> that um, I actually have been wearing. But when I decide I'm not going to wear my socks anymore, I think they're going to become fingerless gloves. So anyway, um, that's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing, and that's to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'd love to see what you do. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below. If you aren't subscribed, then hit that little subscribe button. Don't forget about hitting the little bell so you get notifications of new videos. And I would love to see you become part of our little community. That's it for today. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.